right, so some people were commenting on the video yesterday with the nobles and the catalyst, and I think it's important to uh, probably open up the editor if you're doing some higher gain kind of lead tones. I'll just show you why. So this is what I was able to dial in on the amp uh, with the crunch settings. I've got the noble plugged in. <laughs> Um, which to me has quite a lot of the, the fizzy elements to do with modelling that I normally don't particularly like necessarily and you can't really EQ them out or anything so sort of a little bit boxy and stuff so the settings that I changed I'll show you in a second but the cabinet I changed to a 2x12 and we got a load of different mic choices so the 47 has a bit more of a pronounced mid-range so in particular the mics are quite a, a powerful way to dial in different bits and pieces I also found that increasing the bias and decreasing the bias X brought the mid-range forward a bit I think <laughs> So again, uh, where we were, this bias was at 50, right? And I was on the 1x12 cabinet with 57 dynamic, and it sounded like... And where I ended up was... Brilliant. It's a little bit smoother, and if I increase the drive, hopefully we don't increase like fizzy stuff. It's on the bridge pickup. Just again from here. So you may or may not prefer either tone, but I think it's fair to say that with the same amp model, uh, with our cabinet choices and the advanced power amp stuff, we can do some pretty cool tone shaping. Also, I think it's important if you're going to be recording it direct, you need to listen uh, to the direct tone before you hit record, because if you're just listening to the, the actual catalyst itself, I think you may end up being surprised by how it sounds when you pull up the stock settings and it comes in with a, a 57 dynamic and you think okay that didn't actually really sound like it did in the room. Um, versus picking a different mic. 